Hey everyone, welcome back to another PNS review. Today we're taking a look at their new Stegosaur set, Biber and Rook. The Stegosaurus is an upgrade to the older Biber that came out in the prehistoric animal models line a couple years ago. And if you've been a long time fan of this channel, you'll know I am not a fan of that figure. And I have to say this new set right here is a significant, and I do mean significant upgrade than that older release. This set is part of PNSO's Dinosaur Museum line, and that means it comes with a higher price point than the prehistoric animal models line. And that is the downside of this set. I think it's very overpriced for what you get. It retails for $65, and I ordered mine off of Amazon so with taxes and shipping. and came to like just over $85, bucks, and that is a lot of money for what you get. And even on AliExpress, it still retails for around $65. bucks. you will probably save some money shipping, but I'll leave a link to Amazon down below in the description if you guys want to pick this figure up for yourself. So let's go over the package really quick before we take a closer look at the figures. You get a beautiful picture of the adult Stegosaurus and the baby on the side of the box. You got the PNSO logo, Dinosaur Museum, Stegosaurus, Biber and Rook, 135 scientific art model. And then turn it to the back, you get some you know, information in a different language. And this would be the part of the video where I'd show you the awesome booklet that comes with the museum line figures. But unfortunately, I did not get the booklet with this figure and I'm kind of disappointed because the booklets that come with these are really nice. They have some gorgeous artwork in there, some nice pictures of the skeletal details. So I'm probably going to contact PNSO and see if they can send me a booklet over because I really, really want to have that. So enough about the packaging. Let's take a closer look at these figures. So let's have a nice 360 degree view of this set. This is a fantastic set. I love how PNSO included a baby. I had a feeling that they were going to upgrade their Stegosaurus, but I was not prepared for them to include a baby in the set. And I think that's a great touch. I would love to see them continue that trend in the future. The baby turned out fantastic. I just love that two-legged pose that they have to figure in. Very active looking. And the adult also came out beautiful. Like I said, a major upgrade compared to the previously released Biber. The colors aren't super bright, but they're really well done. A lot of nice mixture. Body's mostly brown. You got some black striping or some greens mixed in here and there some white the plates are absolutely gorgeous with red yellow green and black on there just all around a fantastic looking stegosaurus figure just love the white hips on there the armor underneath the throat just everything about this thing is just pretty much perfect in my eyes so let's do a couple quick measurements, starting with Rook the baby. If you measure it along the curve of the body, the figure is just about two and a half inches long and a very tiny one inches tall. So the smallest known juvenile stegosaurus ever found was just under five feet long. So at those measurements, I put this figure in that 123 to the 125 scale range. Now for the adult, if you measure it along the bend in the tail, it is just about nine inches long and about four and a quarter inches tall to the top of the highest plate. So Stegosaurus stenops, that's the species that this model is based off, averaged around 23 feet long. So I'll put this figure in the 130 scale range. So let's start off taking a look at Rook. For such a tiny figure, it packs a lot of great detail. You can see some really fine scale detail on this figure. Even on the throat right here, you can make out some of that osteoderm armor for underneath the throat of Stegosaurus. The eye is painted in black. You have some nice black striping along this bright green. I like how the baby is a brighter color than the adult. Usually, you know, juvenile reptiles are brighter color than the adults. The plates have a nice orange color, very small looking. You got a little bit of like peach color on the side of the body because some large osteoderms mixed in i love the front legs really really nice just love how this figure can stand on two legs i think that is a fantastic touch it's made out of really flexible material so you don't really have to worry about snapping off any of these plates and spikes the thagomizers at the end are really really well done and turn the figure over you can see the other side of the body is done with a nice peach collar the bottom of the feet are all nicely detailed so yeah all in all a really really cool figure i was very excited that was coming with a baby stegosaurus i think that is a fantastic touch and i really hope pns will include some more baby versions of dinosaurs with future releases now I just really hope that this little accessory, because this is about the size of like the PNSO minifigures, they usually retail for around like seven, eight dollars. I can't justify that this little figure jacked up the price of this thing to sixty-five dollars. Because if the Stegosaurus came by itself, it would probably be the same price as some of the other prehistoric animal models, Stegosaurus around that like twenty-five to forty dollar range. So yeah, I just this baby just does not justify the price increase. But I am definitely loving it though. It's still a great accessory for this set. And now let's take a closer look at the adult. Man, this figure turned out absolutely fantastic. Love the head sculpt on here. It has a nice 
brown streak on the side of the head that goes down to about the three-quarter way part of the neck. The eye is painted a nice glossy black. You can see the beak nicely sculpted in. You can clearly make out the mouth and the nostril opening. Let's see if my camera can focus in on that head just a hair better. You can see the osteoderm armor underneath the neck is really well done. A lot of beautiful scale detail all over this figure and the plates came out absolutely gorgeous. Look at all that nice texture and just mixture of colors on there. You got orange, yellow, green, and black. The plates just came out absolutely fantastic looking and they are made out of a nice soft flexible material so you don't have to worry about the plate snapping one of my plates came a little bit warped but i can easily fix that with a hair dryer and just kind of straighten it out and then going down to the main body you can see some really really nice scale detail you know the main color is just this mixture of brown olive green and black striping with a little bit of white on the side of the belly it just makes all that scale detail pop you can see some large osteoderms mixed in with this really fine scales going down to the front legs you have some beautiful beautiful muscle definition and you can take a look at the toe claws they are not painted in but they are very well sculpted and then going down to the midpoint of the body you can see some of that white coloration some nice folds and wrinkles near the legs the hind legs are same thing beautifully sculpted in detail on nice muscle definition all those folds and wrinkles with all that nice scale detail mixing in get some large osteoderms along the side of the legs and then going down to the hind legs same thing toes are beautifully beautifully sculpted i turn the figure over it has a nice wide stomach you can see that cream coloration with a little bit of a dark wash to bring out all those folds and wrinkles and then going down to the tail same thing you got some of those nice black stripes mixed in with that brown and green you still got those really really nice looking plates I just love the cracks on the plate that give it that carrot and sheet look really really well done and let's do our dinosaur colawaka bum hole check and there it is right there blah, blah, blah. and then going down to the tail, the Thagomizer is really well sculpted. Same thing, nice, soft, flexible plastic. So you don't have to worry about these snapping off. Those came out great. Like I said, this is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful looking Stegosaur figure. I just am totally in love with this thing. Just, you know, just not in love with the price. Yes, the price is going to come up a lot in this review, but this is definitely one of the best Stegosaur figures on the market right now. And they definitely nailed the wide hips of Stegosaurus. Look how why those hips are so yeah this thing is just incredible looking it looks even better when it's paired up with the baby moving on to comparisons here is the old biber you can see what a significant upgrade this new one is like i said i was not a huge fan of this figure when it came out it came out in the early days of the prehistoric animal models line it came out after their stellar ankylosaurus and i just felt like this thing did not live up to pnso's quality the details were very soft on it wasn't a huge fan of the color scheme i just don't think the colors came that great on there especially the markings on the plate it looks like someone just kind of colored them in with a sharpie but i'm so happy that pnso decided to upgrade it because i have no use for this figure anymore in my collection <laughs> And let's keep comparing to some other PNSO Stegosaurus. Here it is with their Chunkingosaurus. Now this figure came out in the Dinosaur Museum line. It came paired with a Yang Chuanosaurus that was probably about twice the size of this Chunkingosaurus. And it came with a base and it retails for the same price as this Stegosaurus set around $65. You got so much more in the Chunkingosaurus set than you did with this one. And that's why I'm having a hard time with this price. And here it is with their prehistoric animal models, Tojangosaurus. As you can see, this Tojangosaurus is roughly about the same size as this adult Stegosaurus, yet this figure costs around $25. And as you can see, this is the reason why I'm having so much trouble with this $65 price point. And next up here it is with PNSO's Merigaya. You know, PNSO is definitely showing the Stegosaur family some love, and I am absolutely digging it. I hope they do some more species. Would love to see a Kentrosaurus. And next up here it is with their Allosaurus. And you can see all three of these figures look absolutely fantastic next to each other. You can create a really nice diorama with these three figures. And I hope PNSO does more Morrison Formation dinosaurs. I believe they have a Torvosaurus in the works because they showed off some artwork a couple months ago. And that usually hints towards a future release. The only thing I'm worried about are the sauropods. They've been really seriously missing from the line ever since it came back like over a year ago and i wonder how they're going to pull it off i'd love to see them scale with these figures but they're going to be absolutely huge you know the best thing i can think of 
if PNS decides to do the sauropods and keep them in scale with this line, is to go back to their large hollow vinyl figures. You know, that'll save a lot of money and weight, and they definitely will not cost uh, a ton of money. You know, I guess it would probably cost in that $68 range. But if I can get like a three foot long Apatosaurus figure for under 100 bucks, count me in. And next up here it is with Safari Limited Stegosaurus, another fine Stegosaurus figure, but this PNS one d definitely edges this one out. And let's just do a couple more Stegosaurus figures. Here it is with Rebors Stegosaurus. This figure is probably about 25% bigger than the PNSO. And here is Rebors Baby Stegosaurus. You can see just how much it dwarfs the PNSO one. And lastly, here it is with their Tyrannosaurus Rex. So final thoughts on this Stegosaur set. I think it's a fantastic set. I love the inclusion of the baby. Great accessory for such a small figure. It's beautifully painted and detailed. And the adult is just a work of art. It is pretty much the perfect Stegosaurus to add to your dinosaur collection. The paintwork is great. Sculpt and detail are fantastic. And the only critique I have is what I've been saying all along during this review is the $65 price point. I just don't think this set is worth that much. $50 I probably could have swallowed. I just don't understand how this little baby jacked up the price so high on a figure that should have cost no more than $40 by itself but if you're intent on destroying your wallet like i do time after time the link to this set on amazon is down below in the description so that would do it for the review i should have the pnso and gr toys carcarodontosaurus in relatively soon got some new jurassic world stuff coming in uh, I got finally got the Dino Hazard Irritator coming in. Finally found one for a really good price. So be on the lookout for those reviews sometime in the near future. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on this channel, show your support by hitting that subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously and is greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys for the next one.